for all coming. I want to get started and be respectful before the uh, rain comes. Uh, welcome. My name is Yatin Chu. I am president of Asian Wave Alliance. We are one of the four grassroots Asian community organizations that is co-hosting this rally to lift the charter cap. The Chinese American Citizens Alliance of Greater New York, New York City Residents Alliance, Parents Group New York, and Asian Wave are here to advocate for the interests of our community to urge our electeds to lift the charter cap in New York City. The proposal by Governor Hochul will provide families, many low income and immigrant families, with expanded options, access to higher quality education without having to move or to pay for private schools. Asian families rely on free public schools more than any ethnic community in New York City. Over 90% of our kids attend public schools in New York. We need more good free options for families. Please put our children first above politics and do the right thing. Lawmakers, please lift the charter cap for New York City. With that opening, I wanted to introduce a number of speakers that will be sharing their point of view and why they are supporting the proposal to lift the regional charter cap in New York City. Uh, first up, I'd like to introduce um, Assemblyman Lester Chang. He hails from District 49 in Brooklyn and is um, was elected uh, by a majority Asian district. Uh, overturning a 30 plus year incumbent. Uh, so, with that, I want to welcome Assemblyman Lester Chang. Lester! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This is uh, education is one of my core campaign, and this also got me elected itself. Charter school is not my choice, it's the parents' choice. They tell me they wanted it, and I supported it because I believe in parental right to choose. I believe in choices. That's what democracy is all about, to choose. If there's no choices, then that's, that's autocracy. So parents know what's the best interest for the child. Not me, not the chancellor, not the mayor, not anyone else except the parents knows what's the best interest for their child. No one else. That's the parent's right. So who am I going to decide this? So. What the parents know that he wanted, I'm supporting it. There's even a waiting list of going to charter school. So if the needs are there, why say no? Because that's the parents. We need kids to engage in school. We need good schools, and I believe charter school can provide that avenue for, for, for better education. And once we have a better educated students, they could be better educated and better to competitive to finding jobs and their futures. And I hope my fellow colleagues in the, in the legislature will follow the examples and the governor herself, she can see it that charter school is one of her topics that, uh, that she wanted and I'm supporting it, even my conference supported her. So again, parents have the right to choose and I supported that. And thank you very much, Yachty, you've been great help. It's been, uh, it's been a long fight. We have a lot of uh, a lot of issues ahead of us, and this is one of those. My passion is education. One of my passions, my one of campaign uh, promises and issues at all. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Assemblyman Chang. Um, next, I want to introduce a uh, leader of our co-hosting organization uh, for the Chinese American Citizens Alliance of New York. Uh, founding president, uh, Wei Wachin. Thank you very much, Yatin. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming here on a Friday afternoon, uh, cold and rainy, getting ready to rain, because of the importance of this topic. We are here to fight for our kids, and not just our kids, but the kids of this entire city. We need more charter schools because 
We need more choice, public school choices. Remember, charter schools are not private schools. They don't cost our kids anything, and our kids need these options because the public schools, as we know, need a little bit of competition. Yes. 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 They're failing. Yes. Yep. The charter schools, if you look at the top 25 schools, public schools, in math scores for our kids, 23 out of 25 are charter schools. Yep. Exactly. That tells you something. The charter schools are doing something right. And we have to replicate that. They're the same kids. These are the same kids from the same neighborhoods. They're not your, your multi-billion dollar kids. These are our basic New York City kids who need to come and get a good education. And if the charter schools can provide that and be a beacon and be a model, in fact, for our public schools, let them do that. Let our parents, our children have a choice so that they're not stranded with bad public schools. Lift the cap. What Lift do we want? The cap. Lift, Lift the cap. cap. Lift the cap. Lift the cap. Lift the cap. Lift the cap. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mwewa. I want to bring up uh, the leader of Parents Group New York, another co-host uh, uh, group with us today, Mr. Kevin Zhao. Kevin, will you please come down? Well, thanks for coming, everybody, and thanks for the introduction. Um, I'm just one of the parents in the Parents Group New York. We have about 6,000 parents there. And I would like to share what I've heard from those parents in the group. Um, to my understanding, parents have expressed very sounding reasons for the need of charter schools. And we don't see why we cannot leave the cap. Um, first of all, to the parents, the ELA and the math proficiency rate has been below 50% for years. And we don't see any sign of the improvement on that. To the opposite, we are seeing the grading is getting more and more generous while the proficiency rate is still remained below 50%. So this is not something sustainable for our kids. And, and to the other, oh, and the charter school is a solution for kids. Um, parents have been inquiring about charter school information in our group for just for many, many times, just for February alone, we received 100 requests about how to do, how to admit to the charter school. And these are the parents. They are not, the, like we were saying, they are not billionaires, they are not millionaires. They are the first generation immigrants. They cannot speak English fluent, or they can barely speak English. And they are not in a financial, very good financial condition. So, Moving out of New York City to Long Island to New Jersey is not an alternative for them. And going to private school is definitely not something they can do. And charter school, another public school option, is not only alternative for them. But unfortunately, there are so few charter schools now in the city, both the parents do not even know it exists. And some parents in the group keep asking, is this charter school only serve until fourth grade? And to we have three parents in the group who are sending their kids to charter school and they have drive more than one hour one way every morning from South Brooklyn all the way to Manhattan for the charter schools. So we need more charter schools for the parents. I mean, I know that there'll be a lot of challenge in ahead to open charter schools. But like every other solution, there will always, always be challenge and there are always things we need to work on. Our response is not to shut down the option right away. Let's work on it together and to perfect the solution. And that should be our response. And education is the foundation of our future generation, of our societies. And it is the responsibility for us, the parents, for the government, for the elected officials, and more important, for the education staff to honor the need of the parents and our future generation kids. Thank you.
All right. I've been working with Kevin for um, over two years, um, and he is in our WeChat social media among the 6,000 parents that he just mentioned every day. He has a very authentic pulse on what is going on within the Chinese families that are in there. Certainly there are families all throughout New York City that are looking uh, for the expansion of charter schools in their neighborhood. But really for a lot of the Asian families, there are very few charter schools accessible to us in the areas that we, we, you know, we live. And um, you know, it's something that we're seeing with the last three years of chaos uh, within the uh, Department of Education, there is a greater need than ever for us to have options in New York City. Uh, with that said, I want to introduce the next speaker, um, Donghei Zhang. I saw Donghei come here. Donghei, I wanted you to say a few words as a co-organizer of this rally. Donghei Zhang is the president of New York City Residence Alliance. Thank you, Yating, and uh, thank you, Assembly uh, Member Chang, for being here. Uh, well, I just want to point out some facts, some numbers. So I heard some parents already said that uh, in New York City in 2022, that's from DOE, the math proficiency is 38%. And the English proficiency is 49%. And in the meanwhile, that we know that for the charter schools, we have better performance, which is for the math proficiency is uh, uh, for the math for, for, for the math proficiency. Yeah, it's uh, it's 62. And uh, for the, for the English, is uh, fifty seven. Oh, that's uh, yeah. But that doesn't tell everything. So this difference would be even significant if we break down by race. Okay, this is all from the DOE public data. So for the black children, in two thousand twenty two, the math proficiency is 20.6%. For Hispanic kids, the math proficiency for the, for the, for overall New York City is 23%. But when we look at charter school, here is a, here is a comparison. The charter school for New York City students, for blacks, for black kids is 63%. And for the district, NYC schools is 28%. And for English, the charter school is 58%. While for the New York City public districts schools, the black is English proficiency is 35%. You just cannot deny these figures. You just cannot play more politics. During the, for the education. I would say education is education. Please get out of the politics from that. So also I think some parents said a lot of, you know, a lot of Asian families even don't know what is charter school. Do you guys know why? I think one of the reasons was, I remember during 2018 and 2019, the DOE sent a paper slip to every student's school bag and asking the parent to sign, say, okay, I don't want to receive the materials from charter schools. That's from DOE. So DOE had been publicly surprising the charter schools. They even didn't want the parents to know the charter schools. A lot of parents, they trust DOE, they didn't know what was that, they just sang, and then they lost the capability to even know the existence of charter school. So let's confront these figures, this terrible figure difference, two times difference for the black kids and for the Hispanic kids. Kids are kids, schools are school. 
Let's get out of the politics from school. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you so much, Dong Hui. Impassioned speech backed with data. We have the data. Um, okay, next up, I want to introduce some parents that have taken the bold step to actually run for office. They see that things in New York City, among others, education needs a change. First up, I want to introduce um, a mother, uh, Ying Tang, who is running for office in District 43. All right, yeah! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming here to join us. Um, my name is Jane Ken, a devoted mother of two bright youngsters age of seven and three. Since 2018, I have been passionately advocating the quality education, especially concerning skipping the SHAT, screen, screen test admission, and also expanding the GNT program. Like all of us, I have witnessed the flawed lottery system for the GNT enrollment, which has left many of our gifted students left behind while some are trying to struggling in their classroom to keep up their classes. My seven-year-old is now in the district public school, and my youngest one will get into the first grade journey in the next two years. For, more the, for all the parents that I know, we believe that we have a right to choose what the optimal educational path for, for our children. I lifted the cap for the charter school. We, the parents, have more option to choose what is the best for our children to excel academically. Our right to choose is cannot be kept. In addition to my education advocacy, I'm also a candidate for the City Council for District 43. With all your support, I want to bring back the safer street quality education to protect our seniors and also the small business. And last but not the least, we need more choices for the school. Yes. More Thank choices. you so much. Choices. More choices. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, next, I want to invite uh, Ursula Jung, who is also a parent running for public office. Ursula. Thank you. Um, this is a diverse group of people here. There's parents, there's professionals, um, there are Republicans, and there are Democrats. And we have come here together because the matter at hand is very serious. It is about ensuring that our children and all children in New York City have access to a great education. I'm a first generation immigrant, and I came to the United States as an adult. I chose to come here because to me, America was more than a geographical entity. It was a mythological land where the American dream is still a real possibility. And we know that the only way to achieve this for our children is a quality education. I'm not naive to think that charter schools are perfect, but I do know that public schools are failing us. And I do know that low income communities are disproportionately affected by this. I know that immigrant communities are disproportionately affected by this. I do know that as a parent, I want to have a choice in where I send my child to school. And I do know that the final goal must be educational excellence, regardless of what that path is. The statistics in NYC are shocking. We've just heard them. I don't need to repeat them. It's freezing cold. Um, but the question is, what are we going to do about it? And the answer is right here, all around me. It's us, it's you, it's me, it's us together. We have to work together, we have to speak loudly, we have to speak so loud that our voices are heard by our elected officials, and we have to make sure that our elected officials are aligned with our values, that they believe what we believe, that education is education. Charter schools are public schools. My name is Ursula, and I'm running for city council in District 1. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ursula. I want to invite another um, parent. She is not running for office. I just found out she's here. Uh, Judy Wong, is Judy here? 
Where is Judy? Oh, sorry, sorry, Judy. I want to, I can hold that for you. Hi, I'm Judy. I'm a parent of two teenage, uh, two young boys. One is a teenager, another is 11. I just want to say that we pay so much taxes. So why don't we have the right to better academics and better schools for our kids? Why are they wasting our children's time and lives teaching them all bunch of politics and sex? Are we surprised that our kids can't do math? Our children deserve the right to a better education, exactly. but they all have talents and those talents must be nurtured for the greatness of our city and country. And parents have the right to choose and feel safe that their children are in a place where they're learning and getting the best education and academics possible. We are a developed country. Why is it that our math scores are lower than countries of the third world? It's not acceptable. Right, yeah. We are a acceptable. first world Disgusting. country. We are a first world country. Our children and parents should have a choice and right to a first class education. Right, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Judy. Next, I want to invite uh, Brian Robinson. Brian has one child, I believe, in school, and one on the way. <laughs> one very soon to be delivered. So, first of all, I just want to say thank you for having me. I'm honored to be among these advocates uh, who fight every day for education and school choice. When you have a winning formula, you don't cap it. You double down. So this is about educating our children and preparing them for success in an ever-changing economy. One thing we know for sure, competition forces everybody to be better. If anything, allowing for healthy competition will only raise the standard and we won't see the abysmal revenue losses we saw last year with families fleeing the city because of public safety issues and educational concerns. If we allow charter schools to flourish, traditional public schools will also flourish. Exactly. School choice and major public school, uh, public safety improvements, both of which ought to be championed by every city council member, every state official, in order to prevent this awful tailspin that New York City has been on. Public safety, education, preserving the, the SHSAT, support the merit of the hardest working students, give parents more peace of mind about raising their kids in this city. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next, I want to introduce another city council candidate, Daniela May. Hello everyone, my name is Daniela May and I'm running for city council in a district that I grew up in, District 31 in Queens. I may not have kids, but I have younger siblings in the public school system right now. And I get worried, I get very worried for them. I wrote in cursive to a student inside a public school and they couldn't read it. How are they supposed to read the constitution? <laughs> How are they supposed to know their rights if these kids can't read or write cursive? Exactly. We need more options. We see that charter school is working and we see that public school is not. We need to lift the cap and allow charter schools to be everywhere so that our parents have a better choice and our students grow up to take care of us because they are the future and we need to invest in them. Thank you. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you for speaking. Um, I want to make sure before I call up our last speaker that I haven't forgotten anyone that do want to make a comment, but let me know. But next is a friend and someone that you'll see me in pictures very often at these rallies. Uh, I always count on him to come and support a lot of the Asian New York issues. And with that, I want to introduce Bernard Chow, who is running for city council in Queens. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Bernard Chow. I'm running for City Council 23. I have been out here on this step for many times. 
The reason is because I believe in United States of America. I came to the United States because it's democracy. Democracy means choices. Why do our education system is suppressing our choices? Charter school is a choice. Public school is a choice. Everything is a choice. Give us the option. Give the parents the option to choose what's best for their family, what's best for their kids. So it is very important. Education department have to lift the cap. Lift the cap! Lift the cap! Lift the cap! Lift the cap! By statistics, each child in a charter school costs less than in public school, but gets a better result, gets a better score in both math, in both language, in both many different academics. So it is important that the public school they should learn from it. It's a, it's, a, it's a challenge, it's a competition, but it's a good competition. Let's learn from each other. There must be something that each, all, each other can learn from each other. And let's get better, and let's get New York City better. Thank you, I'm Bernard, and I'm running District 23 for City Council. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are we out of, oh, it's working. Thank you. Um, I, I want to bring up another speaker, um, Avery Pereira. Come on up. I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Avery Pereira, running for a city council, District 47 in Brooklyn. Uh, I'm, thank you for inviting me today. I really appreciate this uh, rally, and I'm glad to see so many people here since we're here for our children, for school choice. And there's no doubt about it, we need school choice all around the city all around this country. Every child deserves a decent education. I was, I'm a public school teacher in Brooklyn, but before that I was substituted in the charter schools and I see what a difference is. The charter schools are disciplined, the kids are able to read, they're able to do math at a very young age. When I'm in the public schools, they can't do simple math, they can't do simple reading, as other uh, advocates here have said, and it's a shame. We're like 12 or 13 and the totem pole in education in this world, and it shouldn't be this way. There's other countries in this world who have their kids reading and writing at a very young age. They're learning so many high-tech things young, at a young age, and here they're not, and we have to fix that. We need more choices, and every parent deserves to get, uh, bring their child to a school of their choice, regardless if it's charter, private school, public school, whatever it is. So we need more charter schools to give more choices here. And uh, I'm Avery Prayer running for District 47 because I deserve, I believe every child deserves a decent education. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Avery. Uh, I think with that, unless there's any other speakers, I'm just looking around, want to make sure I don't miss anyone. Um, you know what? Where's my friend Daniela? <laughs> Daniela is going to be our closer because I know that this mother this woman is as passionate about education um, as they come. Uh, I've worked with her for many years. Uh, she serves on a community education council. She spent most of her, I think, professional career advocating for families and advocating for great access to education. With that, I want to introduce Daniela Igorov. Thank you. Thank you, Yati. Whatever Yati asks me to do, I'm there. So. Um, thank you so much for all of you to be here. It's so important. New York is the state that spends the most amount of money per child in education in the country. We're number one in funding. We're not number one in test scores, in academics, and in results for children. And that's why we need more choice. And charter schools is just the beginning. We need to lift the cap. We need education savings accounts. We need every family to choose what is the best school for their children and for the money to follow the child. Enough of financing this very expensive bureaucratic uh, department of education that is not delivered for our kids. In my district, the district number two, which I serve at the, the Community Education Council, we have, which is the largest and, and sometimes the highest performing in the city, we have at least 25% of third graders not being able to read at grade level, not being able to do math at grade level. And this is one of the best districts in the city. We really need to have 
a lot more choice we can, so we can get the results that we need for our money. Enough of New York being number one in funding and the lowest in choice for parents. One of the lowest in academics. Let's lift the cap and then let's bring a lot more school choice for New York. This is just the beginning. This is just the first fight and we're going to continue fighting until every parent can choose what is the best school for their child. And the money will follow the child. Exactly. The parents yes. will decide. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Lift the cap. 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 Thank you, everyone. That concludes our, our event today. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, we're around, so if you want to speak to us on a one on one, please do that. Um, I, sure, I guess. What's your question? What's the next step? What's the next step for what? For parents? Uh, those. Yeah, go ahead. What? Well, tell our elected officials, some of you who are following. Uh, what's happening in Albany knows that the governor included this yes. charter school cap uh, lifting uh, in her budget proposal. There's been a number of um, public events by many that oppose and by some that support, and we are certainly supportive. And if you uh, agree with our position that we need more charter schools, we need more school choice, uh, write to your elected official, call your elected official, your assemblyman, yes. your senator, and even your city council, even though they don't really have a vote here. But I think it's important to make your voice heard. Uh, send that quick email. Say that I, I support this. I think it's a good thing. I think it's good to have healthy competition. I think it's good to have more free choices for family. Yes, I sir. think we need to not be uh, locked in. Uh, to a system that has not delivered for our families. Exactly. Um, exactly. And, 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 and I, I really, I think, I think that's the next step. Uh, talk to your elected officials. Uh, let's get this moving. We need grassroots support. Everyone here really are not funded by anyone. I don't work for charter school. I don't work for the teachers union. I am a parent in New York City that cares about what happens to our city and the education that our families get. How can we get in touch with you? Yes. How can they get, um, I'm president of Asian Wave Alliance. Go to our website, AsianWaveAlliance.com. Thank you, Dion, yes. appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank everybody. you.